Here, I got 25 knots of speed. That's 25 knots of cool Pacific Northwest air coming across. Um, but things change out here constantly. We're covering a lot of distance. That's average around here. We fluctuate between 48 to 52 degrees Fahrenheit year round. So where we get a lot of blooming phytoplankton, you get zooplankton that eat them, and bait fish that eat those, and bigger fish, et cetera, that eat those. Uh, but the humpbacks are also here for those bait fish and krill. So they like these hot spots, these upwelling zones. As quickly with thicker substances, and so hopefully baby humpback can get most of it down before losing mom's precious energy reserves to the surrounding ocean. Now, while she's nursing her young one, she's also metabolizing her own blubber stores to um, maintain her own metabolic needs, so to speak. And baby is not making it easy on her. Estimates suggest that humpback calves may drink upwards of 100 gallons of milk a day which would allow them to put on about half an inch in length a day and five to seven pounds an hour. So baby's bulking up quickly. Meanwhile, mom's on an extreme diet. Another Make a turn, you will towards deception pass. Go check out deception pass. These guys will tell me if anything changes, but uh, Navigational mark, you can hear the bell tolling, and the stellars are hauled out on top. You can see the tide is ripping a little bit here. So we're just so sleepy, so comfortable. Uh, these are definitely large bulls, so well, pretty much full grown males. One of them showed off that massive pectoral flipper, raising it up in the air. Sure-footed, because as we go through, the currents may 
uh, push us from side to side unexpectedly. See if we can visit with some more of them later on in our journey. But he's just hanging, he's just chilling there. Oh, no, down he goes. This time of the year, especially in the evenings, uh, look in their mouth. Now, it's not rocket is useful for researchers because if they are able to collect a sample of that mucus, they can potentially learn a lot about the health of an individual. scoop up that poop. And then we would also scoop about a mile away a control sample of water and we would freeze them and ship them over for her analysis. And we would store them in the same freezer the hot dogs are stored in. Yeah. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Definitely kidding. <laughs> We would put them on ice, <laughs> and we would move them to a different freezer on land. Eleven o'clock. Great questions. Happy wheel only for humpbacks. It started out that.
my weekend, definitely uh, worth the trip and down there with this nice uh, high clouds. It's going to be a beautiful sunset, hopefully, for you if you did do that. Want a little place a little bit closer on. But could be a really nice uh, sunset tonight with clouds and the sun still breaking out. I appreciate y'all doing it. Out for our fireworks trip. I'm asking that this time stays clear until I make the announcement that it is safe to disembark. My name is Carl. It's been my pleasure to be your captain and pilot. Alrighty, guys. Nikki Clark, I need you to go down and pay your tab, please. You could need to get out of here and get us ready to go to the dock. Nikki Clark, please pay that. Oli, 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 Oli,